I don't think our styles match. Oh man, it was an honor, man. You know, true blessing. Uh, one of my secret dreams or secret goals, you know, as an artist. Mm -hmm. You know, it was definitely dope. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Also, um, I also want to know how did the deal Def Jam come through? That's old news, man. But uh, yeah, we sat down, we chopped it up. Uh, they had an interest in helping us push that side in the states, and I wanted to expand too, so we made it happen. Yo, that's the thing. On the 14th of October, you shared a clip on uh, your Twitter handle, and you're speaking in Japanese. Well, was it like some message you were sending, or was it in preparation for when the was this? On 14th of October last year? I don't remember doing this. I'm not even going to lie to you. But um, nah, if it was, it was probably some phrase or sentence that they taught me. Yo, because a year later, You've just done a song this colorful yeah. and you've released it and the song is, uh, is going to be featured in the, in the, 20 the Olympics. Olympics yeah. Yes sir, yeah. So I was asking, was it in preparation for that because you are, you are singing in English and those guys are singing in Japanese? No, it wasn't, it wasn't uh, in preparation. I think it was just a cool coincidence, you know? Yeah. Yeah, so how, how is the experience as in now that you've sung with the Japanese guys and you're singing, like, was there maybe uh, uh, some some kind of confusion while you're singing in English and they had no. to translate to you? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, there's always, like, a translator in the room um, everywhere I go when I'm in Japan, just so, you know, I can get the message across properly. You know, yeah, yeah. So also, Nasty, um, I've seen your photos with Uncle Snoop and uh, yeah. Boss Malone also. Uh -huh. Is there something coming up? Uh, I, I can't say anything. It, yeah, no comment. Explicit. Nah, no comment. <laughs> no comment. What's up, man? Welcome back to Kenya. Thank you. I work for SP and Buzz. Thank you, G. The question is, what's the feeling to be among the finest talents in the continent in the Forbes African icon list? Um, I hadn't even seen that, man, but I'm pretty sure there's uh, people on there who are very deserving of, you know, those spots and, and whatever. Um, Africa's very rich with talent, man, and, and pure sauce, you know, so I feel honored, I guess. Yeah. Also, Nasty, um, your project, uh, Zuluman with the power, uh, with some power, do you think it reached its potential and target audience? I, I, I think it did well, but it definitely didn't reach its potential. But that's, I, can, I can just like blame that on the, the whole state of the world, you know, COVID and stuff like that. There's nothing anyone could do. People had more important stuff to focus on. So it's like, you know. My second yeah. question is, uh, have you ever felt pressure to carry a South African sound on your music? What is no. the future of South African music? Never felt the pressure to, to carry any sound. I'm, I'm an artist that's purely influenced by people that I love to listen to. It doesn't matter where they come from. So my sound is always going to sound like a little bit like the artist that I listen to. You know what I mean? So I'm not, I'm not boxing myself up and saying, oh, I need to sound like this and like that. No. I, I'm very creative and very free with my music. Um, but I think as for South African music, though, we definitely have a long way to go. But... We've come a long way, you know, from Kwaito, house music, from the country, um, I'm a piano, boom. You know, we have a lot of infectious genres that catch on to the rest of the world very quickly. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Nasty, on the, 30, on the 30th of June, you are in Tanzania, and you see that you had a, a cool vibe. You posted it on your Instagram. Yeah. And now you're in Kenya. Like, are you yes. having an East African tour, or are you doing something for, uh, for the East African in your album? It's not even a tour or anything that's strategic, really. We're just coming back, man, because we miss these places, you know? We don't really get to come to Kenya that often, you know? So we, we, we miss it, man, because every time we're here, you guys show us love, you guys make us feel at home, so... Why not come back? You know what I mean? So also, nice to see, um, you've seen you've also come with uh, your fellow artists. Maybe you tell us the Arabic. Oh, yes. Yeah. This is my family, man. This is Teleman right here. Uh -huh. This is Rolene, two amazing vocalists. There's Lasty hiding somewhere. I don't know where he is. Yeah. There he is, there. He's very antisocial, shy. Uh -huh. But these are very talented people, man. I've been working with these people for like five, six years, maybe even seven. You know, these are my best friends, man. And also, just like artists that I get very creative with. We have amazing chemistry in the studio, so it's, it's always nice to, to carry that with you anywhere you go. So 
coming here, we're catching a vibe, we're in them. I know we're going to lock in and make something crazy, and then you guys are going to enjoy it, and we're going to have a story for you guys. You know what I mean? We're going to tell you we made it right here on your soil type thing. Is there any Kenyan yeah. artist that you are planning to collaborate with? Any Kenyan artist that I'm planning to collaborate with? Um, what's her name? Xenia. 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. I actually met her when she was in SA. They like best friends with her. So. Yeah, I heard her. I don't think our styles match. Both of you are rappers. It doesn't necessarily mean our styles match. Our styles don't match, really. You know. Maybe that's uh, important, guys. Okay. We need to wrap it up. Why retire at 35? Um, I don't know, man. I just wanna. At 35, not really focus on being in the public eye too much. I want to be a guy that has a family, you know what I mean? I want to be able to go enjoy my money. I work tirelessly and I never sleep because I want to have so much money and so much success that by the age of 35, I can just go be a dad somewhere, you know what I mean? And not have to do this stuff, you know what I mean? Okay, thank, you, <laughs> thank you guys. I appreciate you, man.